Hello and welcome everyone back to Tib and Tercy Production. Today we'll be showing you how to use the harpoon uh, along with your uh, sea search radar. So let's get the plane set up for flight and then we'll pick it up from there, shall we? Alrighty, now that we have the uh, basics done, let's uh, get our pre flight ready. So we're going to go over here to the right hand side, select radar attack. We're going to go down here to the surf button, and from there, we're going to select which map we want. And we're going to want the C map, as you see there. And then over here on our left side, we're going to go to our stores page, select harpoon, and we're going to get the harpoon set up for flight. Uh, mode, we'll switch uh, once we're airborne. But what we want to do is get the uh, flight for harpoons. Well, I'm flying pretty low, as you can see there. So we'll step through the harpoons, set each one to low. All right, and we're going to leave them all at sea skimming. Next, we want to go over here to the USC, your upfront controller. Uh, Barium will leave blank. Our search radar uh, and the seeker heads, we don't want them to turn on till about 5 to 10 miles before the target. So let's go ahead and step over, starting with this station. We're going to turn them on at 10 miles, enter. Step, 10 miles, enter. Step, 10 miles, enter. Step one more time, 10 miles, and enter. And as you can see, they already have a built-in destruct range. And the bearing will be provided once we lock up a target on our sea radar. And we'll show you how to do that here shortly. So let's get ready to take off. Okay, and welcome back. We've leveled off about Angels uh, 15. So we're going to let our autopilot do some of the work while we uh, finish up here. And we're just going to click autopilot and kick in the baromic altitude hold. Let's level it out here. Now, we're going to call out to our flight. Flight, targets have been uh, deemed hostile. Master arm on, select air to ground mode. Now, with that being said, we can come over here and look at our C radar finally. As you can see, it's sweeping out at 40 miles back and forth. We can change that to 80, which is what we'll do to start. And as you can see, we have an unknown target over here for now. Uh, we can also, using this button right down here, cut down to 20, 45 degree slices, 90 degree, and then back to the full 120. So we're going to leave it at the 120 scan for now. Now, unlike a lot of your other controls, which use the throttle dozen air control, you're going to use your throttle dozen air control to m move the uh, cursor around. But you're going to use your sensor uh, select switch right to lock up a target. And as you can see uh, on my screen, I currently have a little bit of a uh, glitch, uh, which has been reported to DCS uh, about what's going on. But what we can see from this is we have uh, the target and its range from us. Now, we know uh, coming uh, from the side over there is a flight of Arleigh Burks. So we're going to use our uh, depress switch to break that lock. And we'll leave the Arleigh Burke alone for now. And come back whenever we get some uh, more targets out on the horizon. Alright, welcome back. As you can see, our uh, long range radar has picked up several targets out there. We're going to take a look at this one over here on the uh, right side of the screen and see what our computers tell us it is and again that sensor uh, right okay we have a speed of 28 and a bearing uh, relative to us of 88 degrees so as you can see on the screen now the radar has also uh, put a mark there for you to let you know where you need to go so we're going to roll over into that. Re-engage our barometric altitude hold. And you can see we're about 60 miles out, which we can fire our harpoons right now, but we'll set on them a little bit longer until uh, 
this down here automatically changes into the 40 mile range. Once that happens, we'll be firing some harpoons at the target, and we'll show you how to get that done in just a second. Okay, we're back now. As you can see down here on our radar, we're now within the 40 mile radius, and we're ready to shoot. We don't want to hang around too long. So what we want to do, well, we have the target locked. We want to hit mode. And as you can see, that's going to go over to program one, which is now programmed the harpoon. And we're going to fire it off here. One harpoon away. Mode again. Two harpoons away. Mode again. Three harpoons away. Mode one more time. Four harpoons away. And we are now Winchester kicking it in the butt we're gonna make our turn and we're actually gonna start heading for home which means we'll lose the target off our radar but we've got four good harpoons outbound and we're gonna see what they can do here in just a little bit and we'll go ahead and roll on out and start heading for home on the carrier come back to baromic altitude hold let that do some of the flying for us and let's go see what our harpoons are doing, shall we? Here we see the harpoons out, and they're already beginning their dive. What's great about these are the sea skimming capabilities once they pick up their targets. So we're going to let them drop down and fly over to where they need to fly, and then we'll pick back up. And welcome back. Uh, our harpoons have been fired and are closing in on their target. Uh, most of the harpoon t uh, harpoons are less than uh, 10 miles out now. As you can see ahead, uh, we have the enemy uh, destroyer. Our harpoons now are at sea level, so it should be below the radar. We have our first hit, second hit, third hit. We have a harpoon in pop-up mode now. Five, six hits, seven hits, eight hits, nine, ten hits. Ten hits? How do we get ten hits with eight missiles? All right, well, we just did somehow. <laughs> But, as you can see, that's how it's done. Eight harpoons, eight hits, not ten. And the ship is sinking. The ship is on fire and sinking. So we've accomplished our primary mission and are en route back to the carrier. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them.